I got a request to show what fits in my mini and uh, the different ways I can use the strap and how I pack it. So I thought I would jump on real quick today and show you. First off, this is my Chanel mini. I wear it crossbody most times, but this is what it looks like. It is in the caviar leather. It's the rectangle mini, rectangular. Caviar leather in black with the ruthenium hardware. And I absolutely adore this bag. So this is it, and it is not a large bag by any means. Here is a sunglasses case, just to give you an idea. Okay? <laughs> so this would take up the most, you know, most of the bag. Um, what I generally need or use this for is either if I'm going out on a, like a long shopping day, um, I wear it crossbody, I just put in my, the items that I just only need to have, and you know, good to go, it's light, it's easy, I'm hands-free, perfect for shopping. The other thing I use it for all the time is I always take it with me on trips, I pack it and then I put it in its um, dust bag and then put that inside my other like travel tote that I'm taking on a trip and that way I can bring this out anytime I am going to dinner or have a longer walking around shopping trip kind of a thing. So since I do take it to travel a lot and since I do vlog, um, Basically, I do like to bring my vlogging camera with me. Um, I just find that it's better than my uh, using my iPhone. I don't know, it works better for me to bring my, my vlogging camera. So that takes up a lot of space. This is the size, basically the vlogging camera that I use. I have this one and one other that I use sometimes. So that takes up a lot of the bag. Um, but if you don't have a vlogging camera with you, which many of you probably would not, you would not need to worry about that. But I will, I will add that in when I show. Other things I almost always want with me, I want my sunglasses. In this case, I do not use the case. So I will take that out and I have my sunnies. Okay, so sunnies, um, always a lip product. I cannot leave the house without chapstick. So definitely a chapstick or some sort of a lip balm and some sort of a lip color. And this is a Chanel uh, Coco Rouge gloss. So I love that one. Then I always need my keys, obviously gotta get where I'm going, and my cell phone, and this is an iPhone 8 Plus, all right? And again, it's gonna take up some space. So those, that I need also. Now, the questionable items I would love to have if they fit are a face powder of some sort, which also has a mirror, which is nice if I need a mirror for anything, and I can just kinda touch up. So if I can get a face powder in there, I'm happy. If not, I will live. And then a wallet. So I brought the wallet that I use most of the time that's my full size-ish kind of a wallet, if it's, you know, full size amount of things in there is what I'm trying to say, is this Victorine and I use it for many, many, many of my bags. Um, if I'm downsizing bags, many times I do also use this um, Chanel, it's like a card case basically. Love this. So if I'm not vlogging and I don't need my camera with me, I can easily use this pouch in this bag and it fits beautifully by the way inside this bag is a zip pocket along the back and a flat open pocket along the back also very hard to see because of the dark interior and I do apologize for that all right so this I do use in here it can sort of fit going up and down, but it makes it tight to close depending on what else is in there. I'm kind of looking at my monitor, so I apologize, but I've got to see if everything's in frame. Um, it can definitely, of course, fit that way. Now, if I were to put in then my phone, my lip products, hold on here, my chapstick, I need my car keys. And that pretty much fills a whole lot of it. And I can stick my sunglasses right there on top. Everything closes perfectly. So this includes a small wallet, the Chanel small wallet. Sunglasses, iPhone, keys, two lip products. I don't have my face powder in here, but you know, I really don't need it. I just like having it if I want to have it. Now, if I'm vlogging and I want to take my vlogging camera, this will not work whatsoever. So, what I would do in that case, I would take out the wallet and just put a few, you know, I'd take out my few cards and put them back in this zipper area right here. 
and that's zip it you know it's secure no problems I would use like my debit card maybe a credit card my license maybe even throw in my insurance cards in case I'm in an accident that kind of thing they fit beautifully back here and it zips so that's nice so I would take out the wallet and use that instead which really frees up a lot of room in here as you can see okay so then I can put my vlogging camera in there which again I realize not everyone's going to need that option but that does fit and if you're not terribly worried about your sunnies I do have like a real soft like a cloth case that I use a lot of times just so they don't scratch but they do fit on top the whole bag does close there they are And, it do, and you know, you can just do it up perfectly. Nothing's bulging, fits perfectly. So, like I say, not many people are using a vlogging camera, but I guess if you're on vacation and you wanna use a camera for photos for the vacation, that works too. But in general, you know, speaking, I do many times not use any type of a wallet in here. I just put the few cards I need in the back and that frees up a lot of space for lip products, keys, phone, glasses, and I can even put my powder in also. No problem. Okay. So basically, if you were insisting on using a, a wallet such as this type of a size, like a Victorine, let's see what that would do. Okay, here's the bag empty. Here is this size of a wallet. Now it does not really stand up, I mean it can stand up, but it won't really close without really stretching it. So you can't do that very well. So if you were to lay it down, that leaves precious little room, <laughs> okay? But you need to have your phone because who can leave home without that, right? So phone and wallet. That's a lot of bags. So there's a little bit of space over here. You can't leave without taking your keys, generally speaking, unless someone else is driving or you're taking pub public transportation. So there we have the keys in there. I can fit my chapstick and I can fit my Rouge Coco Balm kind of on top. And let's see if we can do the sunnies. Let's try that. Let's see. It's, it actually works. I mean, they're not very protected, like I say, but it does fit the sunnies. And it does connect. And that's with a Victorine wallet in there. No vlogging camera in this case and no powder. Um, but that's still an awful lot of space. I mean, seriously, that, that it packs a lot, <laughs> a lot more than you would think. I mean, seriously, we've got a, a lip product sunglasses, iPhone 8 Plus, a chapstick, <laughs> my car keys on a fob, it's not in like a key case, it's just on a chain sort of thing, and the Victorine, which is a good sized wallet. So that is really a lot. Now, to show you what you can do with the strap, let's try this now. Obviously, and the way I like to use it the most is crossbody. Let's see if I can crossbody. This is where it hits me. It's just nice there, kind of on the hip. It's kind of perfect. I really like it crossbody. If I just want to wear it long on my arm, that works too. And another way you can change the strap just to make it kind of an under the arm little, little bag for you is to take the strap, open the bag, bring this side over, and bring this side over. So you basically crisscrossed it. And close the bag. And you have a smaller strap that's good for just right there under the arm. And it's nice to take it to dinner and so forth in this way. Love that about it. So I enjoy this bag so much. It is so versatile. There are so many things you can do with it. Um, it's classic. It's easy. It can be dressed up or dressed down. 
I think it's just an absolutely perfect forever kind of a bag. So I really do hope this helped you and thank you, Jesse, for your question. I do like requests, so anytime you have one, let me know and if I'm able to, I will be happy to help you out with that. So if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys again real, real soon. Thanks, bye. Oh, I hate this. Just drives me absolutely batshit crazy. There, it's ugly, but maybe it'll stay. Okay. <laughs> Get it together, Jennifer. Get it together. Hmm. All right, whatever. Hair, it is what it is. And so here we go. Let's let's get on it. That was just really weird. Okay.